let's just start with your first championship start last weekend. How did that feel? Yeah, no, it was, it was great. Proper loved it. Um, you know, the fans are just like they're they're incredible. I just feel like they're 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 really good. Um, the game itself, uh, derby. Um, you know, it was just a it was a it's a it's a tough game to play as well. So, but um, no, I enjoyed it. Loved it. Could have been a a dream first start, couldn't yeah. it? With the goal, yeah. have you have you seen that back? I take it. Yes. Not, what it what, what did the, you make to that? Well, it wouldn't be the decision I I would have made. That's just sure. <laughs> that's the polite way of putting yeah. it, isn't it, John? <laughs> what, what what went through your head then? You've got the ball in the back of, back of the net. You're running away, and then you you see that decision. How did that feel? Yeah, uh, you know when I when I when I headed it and I saw it go in, I was like, let me just run and do a, a knee slide point at the crowd someone yeah um and uh yeah I was pretty shocked when it when it, when it disallowed it. I didn't know what was going on fingers crossed uh you get another chance soon I take it then then coming out of that game you maybe one of your ambitions now is to hold on to that starting place yeah yeah of course um just try and stay in the team um just try and keep my spot uh you know all I could do is, is train well and and if I get an opportunity again uh, just to take it how have you found working under Carlos this season? No, he's been great. He's been um, um, challenging me, um, you know, with my the work I need uh, improving on. Um, he's noticed what I need improving on as well, and so therefore I'm able to uh, improve it in 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 ways. And uh, he's he's done great. He's a great manager. What what kind of stuff has he been targeting you to improve on, John? Um, more of the explosive work, so the uh, the power and speed. Uh, I think I've always needed to improve on that, but he's um, proper targeted and proper put in place uh, gym works uh, and like uh, movement to help me improve that. Yeah, do you feel you're in a place with Huddersfield Town and Carlos on his staff that you will hit those targets that he set you? Are you confident yeah. in that? Yeah, very confident. I've already improved on quite a lot from this from when I joined till now which is um obviously uh what you're hoping for and so I can only just keep improving which is good how have you found that step up then into the championship obviously you played at Accrington last season being at Chelsea being in the B team here at Huddersfield how have you found that step up into the first team at town um and I from Aki it's been Aki was kind of a it was league one's very up and down. You know, you get some good standard teams, you get some not great. But this is uh Huddersfield, you know, it's more football based, so it's more similar to Chelsea, um, which um I'm used to. And I think um knowing forget my first start in a champ, I think I can tell the standard of of football champ is I think it's it suits me. Is it is it just a lot more of a quicker quicker game? Is it more physical? What what is that improving in standard? What can you notice when you were playing last week? Um yeah more more football based, you know, uh better players. You can't give players time. Uh you gotta get tight, you gotta press, you gotta um stronger as well. You gotta be strong. You got to um just be quicker on your toes, more on your feet. Um and um yeah, you're just up against players that have been in the Prem. So you you got to be on it from the start. About your time at Chelsea, obviously, it's it's almost a little bit cliche in football. We see so many players who just stay at Chelsea and go out on a lot of loan moves and stuff. You've made that jump and you now permanently have left Chelsea. Is that because you just wanted to get out and play as much football as possible? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't really, I didn't want to be tied down. Um, struggling to to leave and and uh, having problems with that, I just wanted to, you know, my career goes different, um, takes me somewhere else, um, and it was just the the best option for me to do, and just to get get a, get a new start somewhere else and and progress from there. Did you know Levi Colwell, Tino Andrewin, Jamal at all from your time yeah, at Chelsea? Yeah. yeah, I know them. Tino, I play with Tino quite a lot. I didn't play with Levi that much, um, but Tino definitely and Jamal saw him in in and around the, the building. I would say, oh, I would always say hi and stuff. So yeah, um, yeah, the familiar faces. Yeah. Did you have a little word with Tino when he signed in January? Have you spoken to him? Because he's 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 still at Chelsea, isn't he? While he's recovering. yeah, I was telling him, well, when you come in, you know, welcome. 
Yeah. Um, he said he's not sure yet. He's still he's still sorting his he's sorting his injury out. So um, hopefully he gets here soon and we'll kind of probably catch up. Has that helped? You said you didn't really know Levi that well, but has it has it helped? You know, having that common ground with Levi when you've settled in a little bit, you've both come through that system at Chelsea. You've had a bit of common ground. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think um, you know we played we played with each other quite a bit, um, and of course to have that uh, familiar face is is great. Obviously, he's, he's top man, he's top guy, so we get on, we get on well. Yeah, much has been made about the togetherness of this side, John. Did did you even think at the start of the season that? Come this stage of the season, we're mid February now that Huddersfield Town are being talked about as promotion contenders. So you never know. You never know in football, honestly. You don't you know? Definitely League One uh, last year, you would have teams from the bottom um, be in the playoffs. So it's it's very it's very it's very difficult to tell. But um, the way we've been playing and the way we've uh, you know organised ourselves, it's been we can definitely get there. We're we're all planning to get there. So. We just got to keep um, doing the things we need to do well. Tricky test on Saturday, obviously. Fulham are blowing teams away, aren't they, at the moment? Um, but you mentioned organisation there and, and the defence has come in for a lot of praise this season and they're going to really need to show what they're made of tomorrow, aren't they, when they take on Fulham? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be tough. But, you know, the way we've prepped, the way we, we're doing, the confidence we've got in ourselves, I mean, we, we've got we've definitely got a chance to win. Um, you know, we take the pressure off ourselves and we don't let, no one really expects us to win so we could just go out full full blast full everything and 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 just do our best yeah does that almost help knowing that nobody's expecting anything from Huddersfield Town tomorrow and you you can almost go and express yourself a little bit more without that pressure yeah yeah we can you know we are underdogs isn't it so um we we we've yeah, we've got no pressure on ourselves. We just got to express ourselves, um, play with confidence, and and just trust in our, in our, our in Carlos, in in and in how we how we play.